Everybody got it? Mm -hmm. But God. But God. But God. Who is rich in mercy. For his great love wherewith he loved us. Even when we were dead in sin. Had sins has quickened us together with Christ. By grace ye are saved, and has raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. The twelfth verse to the fifteenth verse. That at that time ye were without Christ, being aliens from the covenants of promise, having no hope, and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, who has made both one, and has broken down the middle wall of petition between us. My subject today is, take a seat, the wall is gone. All right. Take a seat. The wall is gone. Amen. We don't have to worry about the wall of corruption. We don't have to worry about the wall of jealousy or envy and strife. We don't have to worry even about the wall of temptation. For God has given us peace. That passes all understanding. All right. You can understand why you feel so good when it's all headache and chaos around you. You can understand why you feel so peaceful when all the whole world is in a chaos and, and they're killing and they're bombing our children. No matter if they're in UK or Texas or Virginia, it still affects us because we all, hallelujah, are God's children. Amen. And we as a people of God, we have learned to pray without ceasing. Uh -huh. You that haven't learned to pray, you're going to fall in depression fall in all kinds of being stressed out uh -huh. and worried about your friends as well as your neighbor uh -huh. because you haven't locked in Jesus. Uh -huh. You still have the wall in front of you. Uh -huh. Not thinking about how God already knocked it down. Yes. Not thinking about how the Lord took all the grace he had Amen. and knocked the wall down. Amen. Not worrying about whether your children climb over the wall. Not worrying about whether your children get over the wall. Uh -huh. But you are worried about, hallelujah, how you can build your wall back up. Right. Yeah. You build your wall back up because of your ignorance. You build your wall back up because you, everything is funny to you. Jesus. Everything is a joke to you. It's a time and a season for all things. Amen. It's a time and a season to praise God. Uh -huh. Time and a season. To use your ears to hear That's what it. the Spirit says unto the churches. Amen. I'm not up here wasting my time. I'm 
I'm not up here for you to look at me. Amen. I'm not up here, hallelujah, trying to make a show. All right. I'm here for all the graduates. Yes. Amen. I was here when you were a baby. That's right, Bishop. I was here when you were in your mother's stomach. Uh-huh. I was here, hallelujah, when I was in my mother's womb. That's right. Not knowing what I was going to be. Uh-huh. But God broke down the petition, hallelujah, in the wall. That's right. The enemy tried to block my arrival. Come on, come on, Bishop. He had my mother in a state of mind of not wanting any more children. Come on, come on, come on. Had a, in a state of mind, I'm not going to eat. Hallelujah. Because I don't want any more kids. Hallelujah. So I came here four pounds. Jesus. Hallelujah. My daddy said he could hold me in both of his hands. Yeah. Hallelujah. Not knowing that two weeks of my arrival, hallelujah, that I will fly out of my mother's hands my and hit the pavement yeah. and die. Not knowing that the wall was so high. Hallelujah. After my father, hallelujah, brought me back through the grace of Jesus Christ. Amen. Not knowing, hallelujah, of the struggle that I had as a child. Amen. Not knowing of the struggle, hallelujah, that I may endure. Hallelujah. But God knows it all. Yes, he, does. he brought me to this place yeah. where I'm at now. Yes, New Day Bible Way Outreach Ministry. Amen. He placed me in this place for all of you. Amen. All of these children. Amen. I knew you when you, your, you was in your mother's womb. Amen. I knew you, I knew you. <laughs> and your mother, when she was three and four and five years old. Sure I was that Sunday school teacher. Amen. Come on. But God has placed me in this building for the outbreak of all of you. Amen. He don't want the wall to go back up. Come on. He wants you to take a seat. Yes. Amen. Not just any seat, but heavenly places. Yes. Come on, Bishop. Yes. Come on, Bishop. When I got ordained a bishop, Minister Smith said, we are sitting in heavenly places. Yes. Amen. If, he, if heaven is like this, Sign me up. Amen. Pastor Perry said, this is heavenly places. Amen. I'm putting this on YouTube. Amen. I'm letting everybody see this because they should have been here. Amen. Nope. I have who I wanted here. That's right. I handpicked the people that were here. That's right. I'm not here for form or fashion. I don't care if nobody show up. But I'm here for who God ordains me to call to show up. That's right, Bishop. I'm trying to set souls free. Amen. I'm not Amen. trying to loose the devil. That's it. Why should I invite the devil to the church? I know that's right. I'm trying my best to keep that wall down. Amen, Bishop. I'm trying my best to flee from Satan. Amen. He has raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places. Christ Jesus, we should be glad we can come together on earth and rejoice and pray. Amen. Everybody don't have 
have that free opportunity. Everybody don't feel good about sitting around everybody. Sure don't. Everybody don't want to share their space. Sure don't. Residing out. Amen. Some people have claustrophobic phobia. And they don't like to be crowded. They don't like a crowd. Man. But I like togetherness. Me too. I don't care how many people it is, as long as we're together. Amen. I hate confusion. I know that's right. I don't like pick and pack. I don't like that. What you mean by pick and pack? I don't like for you to carry a bone, place the bone, take up the bone, and leave. You're bringing it, you're taking it. I don't like that. I like for you to say what you got to say to me. I'm not no boogie man. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. I like you to say what you got to say. But people that don't do that, they're cowards, they're punks. I know that's right. Lord, have right. mercy. They run and get their cell phone and go home and chit chat. Lord, I don't got time for that. I'm not a chit chat. I don't have time for that. My time is valuable. Amen. Bishop. I'm studying the word. Amen. I'm writing down messages yes, in order to free you yes, from sin. Thank you, Jesus. And sin. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. I'm not trying to tell you how to fornicate. I know that's right. I'm not trying to tell you how to commit adultery. Amen. But I'm trying to bring you out of fornication. Yeah. I'm trying to bring you out of adultery. How are you doing that? By living right. I know that's right. Amen, Amen. Amen. Bishop. By first eating the fruit. Thank you, Jesus. I don't have nobody crawling in my bed at night. Thank my you, husband Jesus. has deceased. Six foot three, 300 pound man. That was my baby. He's gone. So I don't crawl in the bed, nobody crawls in the bed with me. My Bibles are laying there, my notes and my... I don't have time to worry about what I can do for a man, how I can please him. That colors my mind and my judgment. You might have that kind of time, you might be on that kind of time, you may not be that dumb, silly woman. But I, I uh-uh. That ain't my characteristics. That ain't my character. I don't need 10 men to make me happy. I don't need 20 men to make me happy. Some people need 20 and 30 and 40 women to make them happy. Some people need 20 and 30 men to make them happy. You gonna end up like Easy E. Try to take. God has brought down his petition wall. Young people, you're on a journey of your own now. Yes, they are. Amen. Isaiah, Christopher. Josephina, you're on a journey now of your own. Amen. You, might, you might not like what you might end up seeing. Because the world, now you're living in, it's not pretty. Bills, that's just going to be. Come on with it, Bishop. Come on with it. Come on with it. Oh. Light bill and gas bill four hundred and five hundred dollars. Oh. I'm trying to tell you, tell us. Cable three hundred dollars. Come on, Bishop, tell us. Rising thousand fifteen hundred. Come on. Keep it real, Bishop. Rent two thousand a month. Come on, Bishop. Come on, talk about it, Bishop. Mortgage fifteen hundred a month, or twenty five hundred a month, or four thousand a month. I know that's right. Car note six hundred a month. Yes. 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 Talk Insurance, $4,500 a month. Come on, Bishop. That's right. She ain't playing. 
She's shell telling the truth. If you own a home, the taxes a year are fifteen hundred dollars on that home. Or twenty five hundred. That's what you're in for. Oh, I want a car. How you gonna pay the insurance? I know Tell that. it. How you gonna pay the car note? How you gonna pay the gas to get to the car note? <laughs> Say yes, there you go. Talk but about you want a car. Come on, talk about it, Bishop. Talk about it. You want me to take my money and buy your car, and you can't even pay the car note, you can't even pay the insurance, never mind the gas. Lord, have mercy. But you want me to take my hard earned money. Tell it, but you keep it real. Come on, come on. Come on. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Young people, get together and pray together. Amen. Amen. Be strong together. That's Amen. it. When I'm dead and gone in my coffin, you remember what Bishop said to you. I'm trying to tell you. Stay together. Keep everybody's number. That's right. Keep everybody the church number. Love each other for years and years to come until you die. That's right. Because you're going to need one another. Amen, Bishop. Amen, Bishop. Amen. Don't let Amen. Satan build this wall up thinking you up here by yourself. You can do it all by yourself. You in for a fall. I'm trying to tell you. For quicksand. That's it. Quicksand will bury you. It will. Pull you under. Amen. Keep in touch. That's right. Amen. Go on, call. I don't care if they live in New York. Go up there and fly up there. Or use an Uber or a bus. Peter Pan. Peter Pan. Get on up there. Get on up there. Get on up there. Never leave one another. I don't care if you end up in Japan. Make it your business to call Joshua and have pray with you over the phone. Amen. 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 Keep every one of them in touch. Always have a number of the people in the church. Amen. Because these people know how to pray. New Day, keep it real. Because they had a real bishop. That's right. We got no choice. We ain't playing around. Cause you see my dress up there? We ain't got no so good. I ain't playing around. Come on, Bishop. Just because I wear tight dresses? Oh. I ain't no whore or no slut. Come on, I'm the real deal. Yes. Yes. I'm the real deal. Amen. Some people wear tight dresses cause they are whore and slut. Oh, oh now that's I'm the not truth. the one. It show the truth. I'm not Bishop. the one. Show the truth. I can count the men I slept with on my hand. Can you do that? Uh oh. I beg the differ. <laughs> Let's keep it real. Amen, Bishop. I'm proud of that fact. Amen. Amen. I'm proud of that Amen, fact. Amen, Bishop. I don't have Henry on this hip. Oh. Tony in the back hip. Oh. Andrew in the, in the top breast. Come on, Bishop. Henry in the top of my head. <laughs> Walking on Michael. Woo. I don't have none of them. Gentlemen, I was going to say something <laughs> in my spirit. Amen. I'm free. Amen. Lord, I'm Ain't no chains holding me. Amen. I'm free. Whoever you sleep with, that's who you marry. You marry to 10 men. Because you know you don't slept with 10 men. Oh. Amen. Everybody you sleep with, you marry to them. Only way you can get free of them, you gotta be celibate for a year to get free of them spirits. Oh God. I'm teaching you something now. Amen. All right, Especially you. my graduates. So just in case you decide to sleep with somebody on graduation night, come home sick as a dog, your parents gonna know why. Uh -oh. Just in case you decide to take on being liquor, your parents gonna know why. Just in case you decided to have an orgy, parents gonna know why. Yeah. Let's keep it real. Amen. I don't mind teaching you the raw deal. 
Other pre preachers and pastors have a problem with that. I don't have no problem with that. Because you know why? The internet, the YouTube, Twitter. Already taught you. I already done taught you. Sure did. So I don't got a problem with being wrong. Amen. I, I got a problem with coming to you, telling you like it is. Amen. Trying to keep it real. I'm trying to keep you from going to hell. I'm not trying to push you in it. I'm trying to keep you out of the pit. I'm not trying to tell you how to get there. Amen. People got a problem with me. Because I keep it real. Amen. I don't like the way you wear your dress. You show your breasts. I don't like the way you wear your dress. They're too tight. I don't like the way you dress. You see your legs. You got a problem with a leg? <laughs> you got a problem with a breast? <laughs> you need some more Holy Ghost. Amen. If that's tempting you, you need some more Holy Ghost. Amen. I ain't got to change my wardrobe just because you're talking about me. That means I'm gonna wear that more. <laughs> you go, Bishop. Cause I'm that bad. You go. All right, Bishop. <laughs> I already know where I'm going. That dress ain't carrying me there. That's yeah. it, right. My presence ain't carrying me there. Me there My legs ain't carrying me there. Right. Jesus is carrying me there. Yeah. Jesus on the inside. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I keep it real. Amen. I'm real on the inside. Yes. Nobody trying to be ugly on the outside. <laughs> I'm not trying to be ugly on the outside. Amen. How can you be ugly on the outside? By talking about your sisters and brothers. Amen. Lying on your sister and brother. Lying like a lying machine. Everything coming in your mouth is a lie. Everybody's kids is terrible but yours. And yours is the biggest terrible kids I ever seen in my life. How do parents brag on terrible kids and say say their kids are good? Everybody's kids are good. Everybody's kids are good. Amen. Everybody got flaws. Yes. Everybody make mistakes. Mm. Don't be trying to say your kids is good and nobody else's kids is good. <laughs> Come on, Bishop. Everybody kids is good. <laughs> but nobody in here made it yet. No. Have you? No. I didn't go to your funeral. Oh. <laughs> you made it no nobody made it yet. We all on this journey together. That's right. We all on this road together. All our footsteps, Lord. We on this road together. Amen. Anybody trying to exit out? Uh -oh. <laughs> go ahead and exit out for the wrong way. Nobody trying to go the wrong way. You better ask somebody for some directions. No, you don't want to do that because you think you know everything. Oh, I'm going the right way. This is wrong with two left shoes. <laughs> Ask your sister and brother for direction. <laughs> Stop going the wrong way. Come on, come on. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Right. One way to God. One way. And that's holiness or hell. Holiness. Oh, Righteousness. your seat. But God forgave us all our sins. We sit in church together enjoying a taste of heaven. How many enjoy a taste of heaven every Sunday? Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. If you say you don't need that, you're a lying demon spirit. I know that's right. 
every Sunday we get a taste of heaven. Amen. God visits us here every Sunday. Yes, he does. We don't try to make out a shout and try to make how we're going to speak in tongues. Tongues just come and flow. Amen. Dance just come in our feet. Amen. We ain't up here playing, trying to practice dancing, and trying to practice tongues. Amen. Nobody know how to do that but Joyce Meyer. She teach you how to do that. Go, you call up and go to her church. She show you how to. She show you how to speak in tongues. Tell you what college to go to to speak in tongues. Take that mess away from me. It's going to hell. Tell them, Bishop Denise Hammond didn't said so. I will show you to you in the Bible. Bishop Hammond Denise said so. Come at 150 Warren Avenue. Take it up with me. You can't go to college and speak in tongues. You can learn how to speak in tongues. You can practice how to speak in tongues. The Holy Ghost got to come from Jesus and it got to flow through your mother body into your soul. And hallelujah, take over your spirit and you speak in unknown tongues and the Spirit of God give her utterance. Wall is gone. Take a seat. Don't be thinking about where you're going to sit. God got a spot just for you. But God can only do that. No one else can do that. Amen. No one else can give you a seat. Remember that. I can't give you this daughter. I can't give you a seat. I don't have that permission. Amen. But what I can do is lead you to that seat. I can show you where that seat is. And I can offer you that seat. Amen. Whether you take it or not is up to you. But I'm going to be polite and show you how to get to that seat. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It's up to you. You got a choice. Whether or not you sit there. Amen. Is anybody listening to yes. me? Amen. Yes, Bishop. When God gives you a seat. And you don't take it. I don't know what's wrong with you. you ain't trying to figure it out. I know that's right. Bye bye. Yon yon. Because I'm going to take that seat. Yeah. You lost out. Because I'm sitting there now. Amen. I was born on yesterday. Hallelujah. I was born 56 years ago. I'm not stuck on stupid. Amen. And glued to crazy. That Jesus is real. I don't have to go to your friends and neighbors and try to question it, have a debate. Wow. I'm convinced. Having have been with God, done sat down and sup with him. He done washed my feet. Drunk from the well of the little water. Amen. Amen. He prepared a table before my enemies. Amen. He done poured the oil on my head and my cup that ran over. Amen. So I don't have to ask nobody for permission to sit down. Amen. God done gave me a seat. You ain't took that seat. Something wrong with you. Something wrong with you. Amen. Oh, I forgot. You thinking about your other seat. The seat where you used to have a lot of friends. The seat where you used to drink with your buddies. The seat where you used to be on crack with your buddies. Sin 
loves sin. But it brings about death. That's what sin does. Brings about death. Sure does. Young people, if you drink beer, you're going to want another beer. Amen. If you drink liquor, you're going to want another liquor. If you try a joint, you're going to want another blunt. Uh -huh. Your appetite is going to increase. Yes, it will. Next thing you know, you're going to be out there in a world of sin and can't get back. Right. And you're going to hear Bishop Denise Hammond bitten in your ear. Sin brings about death. Yes, it Don't indulge in sin. That's right. It will take you over and swallow you and just spit you out. Yes. When it's done, you will look wretched and undone, not fit for heaven, never mind hell. Amen. <laughs> Let us take a seat. Because the wall is gone. Amen. Don't try to bring that wall back. Trump's on his own. Amen. That's what he meant by heavenly places. No one else can put you on in that realm of spirit. No one else can put you in space or that place. Mm -hmm. Satan meant it for your bad, but God meant it for your good. Yeah. When Satan offers you a seat, it's not for you to just have pleasure. It's not for you to have the finest woman in the world. It's not for you to have a beer or liquor. Satan has a whole plan and agenda for everything that comes after that. Amen. He knows if you indulge in it, you're going to want it. A person that never has sex don't never want it because they ain't never had it. Amen. But once you have tasted it, whoo, Lord have mercy, your head's on fire. Your body Hallelujah, you feel like it's a volcano. <laughs> Ready to erupt. Because the urge. Good God Almighty. Well. Proceeds. The little bit of Holy Ghost she got. <laughs> you got to run to the altar. Hallelujah. Keep running. Jesus. Every Sunday. Yes, Lord Jesus, help me. I just, I just. Got an itch. Lord help me. Let's keep it real. Amen. You want it? Gotta have it. Never taste it. Don't do it. You ain't gotta be cool. You ain't gotta be uh, this great woman. You ain't gotta be this great man because you don't went through sin. Everybody think you cool because you done tackled sin. Everybody think you cool because you done went to jail. No, you a fool. God forgive me. Amen. Sitting up in jail, somebody telling you to pee and telling me when you can't pee. Somebody trying to rape you and molest you. And you and you got you you come out and say, I can do big muscles. I've been in jail. You the greatest fool I've seen in my life. Get out my face. You better thank God you got out of jail. Now you better run to the altar so you don't run back. Bragging about that. Ain't nothing to brag about. Say trying his best to figure out how to put you in there. Amen. Because you done graduated now. Mm. Trying to figure out how we can get your body, how you get between your legs. Amen, Bishop. Trying to figure out how many women does it take for me to get to Isaiah. Mm -mm -mm. You special Isaiah. Amen. Keyshawn raised you. Amen. You wasn't raised by some woman that was a night walker. I know that's right. You was raised by the elect lady. Yes. That's your mother. Don't you know the characteristics of a man is a reflection of his mother? Amen. I read you Lemuel. How Lemuel taught the son how to pick a wife and how to become a man. So keep all your mother's teaching inside of your heart and then close it and capture and lock down it in your mind. 
Your father teach you how to be a man and pay bills and work. Tell you how to be strong and how to secure your home, secure your wife, secure your children. Don't nobody take over your home. That's what a father does. But a mother teaches you how to care and how to be lovely, how to care and how to be a good man and a gentleman. That's what a mother teaches. How I know, I'm a mother. That's right. So you got to be very careful because they waiting on you. Amen. 2,000 women want to be called by the hammering man. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Be careful, Josephina. You know how you built. <laughs> Keeping it real. That's it. You got all of Georgia back there. All of you ain't got no fake Georgia. Georgia. Somebody in Wick bought Georgia. Georgia. Placed $10,000 on the backside. Yours came from birth. Uh -huh. Whoever your mother is, she did you well. You better thank God for your mother. I don't care what she say. Thank God for your mama because you came from her. So you thank God for your mama. That's right. She made you and what you got. Honey, can you strap with what you got? That's it. But you are a new day. Amen. By the way, outreach ministry. And can't nobody have you. That's it. Can't nobody touch you. Mm -hmm. You off limits. I believe your heart belongs to Elijah. Amen. Do your heart belong to Elijah? That's so, sweet. so we have <laughs> this made couple. Yeah, we had this made couple. Y'all take your time. I'm not rushing nothing. Y'all take your time. Please take your time. Please, Please take your time. Y'all ain't rushing nothing. Please take your time. So I'm just trying to help her. You know what I mean? Because she's young. Amen. Don't get married now. What do you, you know, about 21, 23 or something. Don't get, don't get no married now. Enjoy life. That's right. But I'm teaching the young people to fear God. That's the right. Don't be fearing nobody else. Right. You better fear God. Amen. Fear him. Well, how are we going to fear God? By fearing your pastor. Amen. That's right. What would my pastor think? What would Bishop mm -hmm. think? I can't do that. That'll hurt Bishop. She would like that. Bishop gonna tell it anyway. She gonna know anyway. Mm -hmm. God gonna show. She gonna get up in that pulpit and put me on blast. Nope, I'm not doing that. Nope. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's what you do. That's it. People think God gonna come down here and do that. He sent me. I'm his messenger. Right. When you see me, you see God. Right. He ain't going to come down here and show himself. He tried to do that one time and thousands and, and millions died. Mm -hmm. Israel asked for him. Try to make a golden calf. Take off their ear bobs and ear brains and braces, ear noses and ear rings and make them a golden calf and worship it. They're making calves today and Buddhists, frogs, and dogs. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Guess they are. <laughs> they, got a, they got about 150 uh, gods. Sun god, frog god, gods, dog, <laughs> birds, cats, flies. I'm trying to tell you, all kinds of gods. They do not want you to serve the true and living God. Amen. The one that hung on the cross. They done forgot about him. Said he wasn't nothing. What you doing serving that man that was on a tree? A what? You had the audacity to talk about my God? I know, that's right. The only living God? The one that created you and me? Mm -hmm. Just still himself. I look at people, keep walking. 
Because he's so ignorant. I keep walking. Lord, Amen. Yes. Lord, I'm going to pray for him. Lord, I'm going to pray for him. Lord, they bless him because they know not what they do or say. Amen. You got to overlook people. That don't mean you got to believe what they say. Kneel down to them and believe what they say because they're ignorant. You got to pray for them. Say, Lord, forgive them, Lord. You know not what they say and what they do. Oh, they never read the Bible, Lord. Oh, they ain't never been with you, Jesus. <laughs> never been in space. They're not, they not aliens. You know, we once was aliens. Amen. We once believed everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, sir. Mm -hmm. We believed the cat was a frog and the frog was a cat. <laughs> but now we know the truth. We know what a cat is. We know what a frog is.